Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Traditional OCR systems are increasingly unable to meet people's usage due to the growing demand for intelligent processing of man-made optical characters. OCR is optical character recognition and in simple words what it means is to identify and understand the text from images. In this new project which is called as GOAT or general OCR theory, they have tried to address this problem. In this, they have collectively referred to all artificial optical signals like plain text, math, molecular formulas, tables, charts, sheet music, and even geometric shapes as characters and have proposed this general OCR theory or GOT along with an excellent model which is also with the same name called as GOT and you can find it out on Hugging Face. Let me quickly take you there. So this is the model uh, which we are going to install locally and then we will try it out on various images to see how it works with the OCR. Before we go, uh, go into that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Coming back to this model, now this model not only is offering a lot of OCR types but also it consists of a vision encoder to convert images into transformers images into tokens and a decoder for generating OCR outputs in various formats for example plain text, markdown and even math picks. GOT is designed to handle complex tasks like sheets, formulas and geometric shapes as I mentioned earlier and we will try to test it out on few of the benchmarks. They also have few of the benchmarking information available on their model card plus they have a github repo and a very finely written paper which you can read through. It's a good read I would suggest. Okay so that's said and done and uh, by the way you know um, one very um, regular we routinely ask for how much VRAM is required for these models look this is very very hard to identify but I can give you a very rough answer that for example um, any modern ones you would uh, you know if it is a quantized version you can run it on 816 GB but for these OCR models vision models you would have to have at least 48 GB of VRAM or higher but I have seen some of them running even on 24 GB so for me it's not really possible to give you an exact uh, VRAM requirement if you are really really keen on to that I would suggest go to this model's creator or github repo and ask them there they might have an idea but there is no exact science around it you can just make a general guess which um, you know I use as you know that courtesy mass compute this operating system and this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM and I'm hoping that this vision model would fit onto that okay but there is no way of knowing it exact okay so I hope that it was clear enough so let me clear the screen first up let me um, create a Conda environment and they have suggested to create the Conda environment in their paper um, around Python 3.10 so that is what I'm going to do here let's wait for it to get installed it is going to take a couple of seconds okay so that is done let me install some of the prerequisites which include torch, torch version, tick token and lot of other stuff so let's wait for it to get installed this is going to take a couple of minutes okay so that is done let me launch my Jupyter notebook in the browser and then we are going to play around with the model over there so the Jupyter notebook is launched let me run these commands to download the model and its tokenizer and the model is being downloaded the size is, size is just over close to 1.5 gig so let's wait for it to get downloaded and the model is downloaded let's try to do the inference for OCR so I'm just giving it a local image which is OCR.png and then I'm asking it to do this OCR with this model let me quickly show you the image so this is the image which has some text uh, with alphanumeric English 
some European languages like French, German, and then few of the special characters like with umlauts and stuff, numbers, dollar sign, email address. So let's see what it does here. Let me run it. And there you go. So you see, um, let's compare this with this image. So the quick brown, there is a space between this square bracket and B. So that is not good. And it appears uh, around a lot of words here. And then jumps is fine. Let's check out the number. You see the formatting of this is not that good. Do there is a uh, dollar sign has con been concatenated with D instead of the number. The rest looks good. Um, not that good, I would say, but you see at towards the end, it is unable to really uh, go through these other languages. And there are a few other mistakes. There are no special characters, no umlauts. I'm also trying to see how it went with email. That is totally off. As you can see, it has identified the character, but it was unable to maintain the formatting of it. So, which is not good, um, but they do have an option of formatting one. Let me try that one out. So instead of this plain OCR type, I'm just giving it OCR underscore type format. So let's see if it is able to run it. Okay, what happened here? Ah, sorry, I just gave it the wrong file name. So let me do images here and then run it again. Okay, this time it is running. Let's wait for it to come back and then we will compare it there you go so now you see now it looks better yes now there is but what exactly this is still i would say there are a few blank spaces here what about email you see of email yeah now email is fine this is good much much better than before few errors but still much better rapido is fine and then it has maintained its uh formatting most of the time if you see the chao i think c a o there is no this sign on top of a here which is not cool and rapido was umlaut is there maroon it is not there so a lot of mistakes the quality is okay i would say it's not that huge i mean we have seen a lot of other models which get it this right to the dot and one interesting bit about this model is that it also allows you to render the results. So for example, instead of just displaying it on the screen, what I am saying here is render is equal to true. And then I'm giving it a render file. When I run it, it produces this result and renders it. And you can just open this demo.html file in your browser. And you will see that it has rendered it here. So you can just simply grab it from your HTML page. So that's it guys if you're interested in learning uh, more about this god theory and all that stuff and you want to find tune it you can visit this github repo and you can access it from this um, model page on hugging face i will drop the link to it in video description try it out let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching